Spotted lanternfly is an invasive species. It's not native to Michigan. In fact, it's not native to North America at all. It arrived in Pennsylvania in 2014 on a shipment of stone from Asia. And the reason that it's a problem for us is that it arrives over here to North America and there's no native predators or diseases or animal predators that will control that population. So this insect is here and it's free to feed and reproduce and those numbers will just continue to increase. And that's when it becomes a problem for the citizens of Michigan and farmers and agricultural producers here in the state. And that's why we really wanna try and keep these numbers at this site low and keep spotted lanternfly from moving off the site. We're here in Oakland County right now, actually with some spotted lanternfly over here. So let's go take a look. So we've got spotted lanternfly actually on this tree of heaven right now. These little tiny black insects, they've got white spots on them. They'll get much bigger and their colors will change as they progress through the season. Eventually the adults will be about an inch long. Uh, the folded wings are gray to brown with black spots on them. The open wings reveal a yellow and black abdomen and sort of bright red hind wings with black spots transitioning to uh, sort of black and white bands at the edge. Spotted lanternfly damage plants by feeding on them with this long piercing sucking mouth part. They will actually draw sap out from the tree or the plant as they feed. So they're feeding on the plant, they're having a lot of fluids go through their tiny little bodies and they're ejecting this sticky liquid out the back. That's the honeydew. Now as the honeydew rains down on things underneath it, it can get colonized by what's known as black sooty mold. And that is a sticky kind of slimy substance that will foul surfaces, can actually kill plants in large quantities and also attract secondary pests such as uh, yellow jackets uh, and, and flies. Now when you're out looking for spotted lanternfly, you know, one of the things you want to look for is Tree of Heaven. Tree of Heaven is the favorite host of spotted lanternfly. Spotted lanternfly will feed on over 100 different crops and trees, but if you're in your neighborhood or your area and you're looking for spotted lanternfly, you're gonna to wanna to look for Tree of Heaven. So what does that look like? First of all, Tree of Heaven has this really cool compound leaf. The real good giveaway with Tree of Heaven is they have these little lancets here, right? They're the little nubs at the end of each leaf, or actually kind of at the beginning of each leaf, right? Also, if you've got the time, you can crush it up and you can smell it. And some folks say it smells like peanut butter, some folks say rotten peanut butter. Altogether, it's not such a great smell. You can also look at the bark. They have a very interesting bark pattern, right? And as they age, they'll take on almost a greenish cast in the bark. And then lastly, the leaf scar. And some of them will look almost heart-like. You can see another one over here, actually right next to the flagging. That's a leaf scar where the leaf was originally attached to the tree. So the Michigan Department of Agriculture and Rural Development and its partners are working here at this site to suppress this population so that there's a lower risk of spotted lanternfly leaving the site and going elsewhere in the surrounding area. We've done a number of things at this site to keep that population low. One of them is trapping. What we're looking at here is a trap that basically funnels spotted lanternfly into a collection bag. We actually have some spotted lanternfly nymphs here in this bag right now. The way this works is that Spotted lanternfly really like to crawl up. They're kind of going up and down all the time as they feed, and at different times of the day, they're going up and down. But if a spotted lanternfly is crawling up the trunk of this tree, it comes into this skirt area here and gets directed into this bag where they get kind of stuck, and eventually they expire. So we use this as mostly a monitoring method, but it's also good to catch some in here and not let them out, right? We've also used very targeted applications of insecticides applied to just these types of tree here, just tree of heaven. And as the spotted lanternfly feed on the tree, they actually ingest some of, some of that insecticide and then they die and fall on the ground, right? That's a very effective tactic. I really like it because it's really targeted. There aren't a whole lot of other insects that feed on this tree because it is invasive, right? So if we can get our insecticide just into this tree here, it's not gonna be harming any other insects, any other native insects in the area. Our applications of insecticide don't hurt native pollinators. The second method that we use is egg mass scraping. We come out in the fall and the winter and we look for these egg masses. They can be destroyed by crushing them on the tree, making sure that you crush each individual egg mass, and then also by scraping the egg mass into a little container of alcohol or soapy water. And we do that mainly in the fall 
And last fall, we got about 500 egg masses. So if you think about it, that's quite a few spotted lanternfly that never got a chance to hatch. So at the conclusion of our survey in 2022, we had found that spotted lanternfly was really concentrated just on, I think about a 60 acre pocket of land. Now we continue to survey for spotted lanternfly in different locations across the state. We need the public's help in looking for and spotting invasive species. There's only so much of us and there's many more people in the state of Michigan that can be on the lookout. For spotted lanternfly specifically, I would say become familiar with what Tree of Heaven looks like. Check the Tree of Heaven in your area for spotted lanternfly. And also don't move firewood. Uh, a lot of invasive insects get moved that way. So that's a good rule of thumb, don't move firewood. And if you wanna learn more about invasive species, you can go to michigan.gov forward slash invasives. There we have information about a wide range of invasive species and what you can do to help prevent their spread.